to the channel everybody and it finally feels like spring. So here it is Saturday, March 30th, right at or around 1130. Temperature is 69 degrees and the humidity is 44%. And the high today is gonna to be 76 degrees with the coldest day in the next week, the seven day forecast is gonna be overnight Thursday into Friday morning at 37. And it finally looks like we are out of the cold nights. So the bees should start booming real quick. So I'll run you through a pretty thorough recap of things that I've done and haven't done in the last, uh, well, while. So here we go. So I reversed the boxes on the majority of the hives, except a few back on February 10th, which was 49 days ago. I did not intend initially to go that long between reversing the boxes and getting into the hives. So yes, I have not been into the hives in 49 days. This is also a first for me. So previous years, I'm usually in the hives throughout the winter on any warm days. And I decided not to do that this time to give them just a lot of time without me interfering to build up, especially for the, the colonies that I reversed the boxes. I treated the hives on March 1st, so they should be good on that. And in March, I've caught three swarms. One of the three I can confirm had a marked queen. So that's a pretty high probability that's one of my hives. So as I go through the colonies today, uh, here's, here's the plan really. One, find the queen. Two, I'm anticipating on finding one to three colonies with unmarked queens if they've swarmed. One for sure, two kind of TBD at this point. Find the queen, isolate the queen, cager. Reverse the boxes if need be for the majority that I did again in early February. Isolate the queen to the bottom box, which will be the deep. Put the medium box on top and slide a queen excluder in since it's pretty close to April 1st. And that's what I did last year. I added queen excluders on April 1st and that produced or led to a pretty nice honey production in most of the hives. So that's a rundown. Let me show you, let me show you some of the hive entrances. I pulled the entrance reducers yesterday afternoon and it is busy out here. And as you can see, or hopefully you can, I have one swarm trap on a ladder, which I'll inch another three to five feet closer to the hive stand today. And if it doesn't get them too close, I might place them on the hive stand as early as tomorrow. And if you can't see that or not, there's another swarm trap back in the brush. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing for them. It seems to work. And finally, I have another swarm trap up in a tree that definitely has a swarm that maybe later today, if not tomorrow, I will start, I'll bring them down and then start doing the same thing as number two, which is the yellow trap, and just inch them closer to the yard over the course of the next week or so. So yeah, let's uh, let's get a little closer to the hives. Show you some of this activity. So number one is looking nice. Number two, pretty good. Concerned with number three here, that was the they were in this uh, yellow deep, moved them into the, the double stacked nuke and their activity is not the best. They have a few dead bees on the front porch, which is concerning. So things to look at today. Four, five, six, and seven, decent activity. And then this part of the yard, I think because as you can see, they start getting some of the earliest sun on the entrances eight, nine, and 10 are just busting loose. And I'm pretty confident that number nine or 10 swarmed in the last few weeks. All right, so without further ado, join me on a late March hive inspection for the first time in just about six weeks. All right, here we go. Pop the top on number one. If you didn't catch uh, a few videos ago, I used I used a top feeder to provide some dry sugar to this hive, and I think that actually worked pretty well. So something that I just have to remind myself is 
the hives don't have a queen excluder, right? So she can be anywhere to include on the bottom of your inner cover or in this case, the top hive feeder. But yeah, check this out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames of bees. This is looking pretty good. Curious to see how the bottom box is looking as well. But yeah, my plan today sounds about right with reversing them, find the queen, slide a queen excluder in there. And if you didn't catch February's video, I think it was February, I found an unmarked queen and ended up marking her with a red dot because I assumed she may have been from last year, but there's a good chance they swarmed early this year. It's just hard to tell sometimes. This is the very first frame, the inside of the very first frame, and if you can't tell or not, they are packing that full of nectar. Whole bunch of drones, so we're off to a pretty good start so far. All right, frame number three, some capped brood right there. We have two, a queen cup and a queen cell, because it does have a larva in there that they're feeding royal jelly. So I'm not going to tear them down just yet, just because this is the third frame, and I have, a, I have quite a ways to go. So if I can find the queen, I'll come back through and tear down any queen cups or queen cells, but I don't want to do that just yet. And the previous frame actually has a pretty nice amount of capped honey, so they've been bringing in some nectar and curing it for quite a while. Somewhat to be expected, I imagine there's a lot of brood in between the boxes, so as I'm pulling up on the frames, they feel pretty stuck and no kidding, I'm tearing apart some brood, but I just wanted to show you this, zero varroa mite. And obviously that's no guarantee that you pull, you pull one apart and there's no varroa mite that you have a mite free hive, but I'm really starting to believe by treating them frequently throughout the year, uh, I've really gotten varroa mite under control finally. Check out frame number six. I shook all the bees off, but look at that beautiful capped frame. All right, top box is looking nice. Nice brood, nice nectar, food stores, capped honey. A few queen cells, few queen cups, but just wanted to give you a first look at pulling the boxes apart. All right, got some cleanup to do. But yeah, check that out. I don't see any, yeah, I don't see any mite. All right, this box is pretty full, so I, I really want to find the queen. Like I've said a few times, plan on reversing them. Probably end up giving them another box and just let them go crazy. Just build it out and hopefully pack away a lot of honey. All right, I was starting to get pretty concerned that they may have swarmed. All right, here she is on the bottom box, frame number nine. So I'm gonna try and cage her. Yeah, I'm gonna try and cage her. All right, there we go. Marked queen. Number one is queen right, obviously, right? I have quite a bit of cleanup to do. A lot of queen cells to tear down and queen cups. And then like I said in the intro, reverse the boxes, drop her into the bottom box, add a queen excluder, and they are so packed that, I mean, if you ever want to know if a box or a, if a colony needs another box, this is, a, this is pretty much a good, a good example. They are just packed, which is awesome to see. Just finished up with number one, went through the bottom box. I still need to go through the top box, which is the deep, tear down a whole bunch of queen cells and queen cups, like I just said, and just do some, just do some spring cleanup, which is any of the comb that was built in between the boxes. But I just wanted to take a quick second and show you all this. Good Lord, this hive is packed. All right, just went through the bottom box, tore down all the queen cells, did some queen cleanup. Top box, I mean, this is just impressive. Ton of bees, dropped a whole bunch of bees over here. They'll find their way back. I took a, I took something out of Paul's playbook and used a, a cover 
to give them a ramp because I dumped a ton of bees on the ground. But here we go, folks. Let's get the queen isolated into the bottom box. Here she at. There she is. And there she goes. All right, so for sure she is in the bottom box. I'm just gonna go through the top box, do some cleanup if necessary, put everything back together, and I think I'm just gonna add another box now, just so they have plenty of space because they're about to explode in population even more over the next few weeks. All right, one final look at number one. So that took a while to go through. There are literally bees everywhere. Dumped a bunch on the ground, just banged the top feeder and shook a bunch on the front entrance. They're using that bottom board from a nuke box as a ladder. But yeah, it's gonna take a little bit for them to really get situated. So reverse the boxes again, queen excluder, queen's isolated to the bottom box, and then added a shallow up top with nine frames. Uh, nine frames with pretty much all undrawn foundation, so that should give them plenty to do to keep them from swarming. So off to the next one. All right, let's get into number two and just smoke the entrance. So same thing with the, the top feeder. This has a decent amount of moisture towards the front, which is where the opening is. So I'm going to, I'm gonna swap that top cover with another that I took off a hive quite a few months ago, just to give it some time to dry out because that one also is collecting a lot of moisture on the underside so yeah again first time first time in this hive in the same time frame so just checking for the queen we're just gonna set that towards the front give y'all a quick first look at the top box but yeah same thing not surprised at all pleasantly surprised though full box of bees so same exact thing not to bore y'all to death i'll show you anything interesting as long as i can find the queen same thing uh well kind of but since they have a deep on the bottom i'm just going to isolate her down there add a queen excluder and then it looks like they could probably use another box too so similar to the previous hive I mean, this frame, this is the inside of the very first frame on the right, and they are just packing away the nectar. This is fantastic to see, especially, especially this early in the season. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, and hopefully the rest of the, this hive looks just as nice. Yeah, she's been in the top box for quite a while with the amount of cap brood. I am not surprised to find a maturing queen cell that the bees are tending to. Ton of drones. Oh yeah, look at that one too. That's pretty cool. Ton of drones. Uh, but I did find eggs. There have been plenty of cells with eggs, so no doubt they're queen right. It seems like they're becoming kind of congested, which is why the colony is developing some swarm cells. So if I can find the queen, I'll do the same thing as the previous hive. Co I'll go back through the frames, tear all that down, and hopefully prevent them or at least slow them down from swarming. All right, I did not find the queen in the top box, but a lot of signs they are queen right and quite a few signs that they are packed in the form of swarm cells. So give y'all first look at the bottom box, which to be expected, a lot of bees, some comb, and brood in between the boxes. So yeah, same thing, just gonna go frame by frame and as long as I can find her, cage her, isolate her, queen exclude her, go back through the top box and the bottom box if necessary, tear down any queen cells or queen cups, and that will be it. All right, just finished going through the bottom box. Uh, signs their queen right, same as the top box, but I did not find her. So what I plan on doing now is basically, let's see, put in the top box just down on top of this top cover, pulling the frames, shaking as many bees as possible into the bottom box to get them out of what's gonna be the top box, slide the queen excluder in, hopefully it knocks the queen down into the bottom box, 
and then in a few days I'll come back and check and see if I can well find the queen at that point they do have uh, quite a few signs that they want to swarm so that is why I am trying to find the queen as much as possible or I might just come back later today or tomorrow and go through the hive one more time which sometimes that works I went through the frames twice but no luck this time all right well that was just really good timing to go back through the top box so ended up finding her on the fifth frame so let me go back through the bottom box tear down all those queen cups and queen cells and then get everything put back together all right time to get her released into the bottom box and then i'll go back through the top box get everything cleaned up queen cells torn down queen cups torn down put everything back together and that's it for number two all right down here at number three i've been very curious to see how they've been doing since i moved them from from the 10 frame into the double stack and before i get started let me figure out what to do with the sugar that's still remaining up here real quick so quick recap and i don't remember the time frame but this was a well this colony was well, that's not good got some wax moss up here get rid of them real quick so this colony was in a 10 frame and had some very unusual behavior to include hmm. had some very unusual behavior on the front porch and then I got inside of the colony to only find that a lot had died off and was blocking the inner cover and in fact as I'm going through this this is odd uh, there's a few bees moving around but it actually looks like they may have died off or are in the process of dying off so this is strange let me figure out what's going on and I'll share that with you all right yeah just pulled the top box off and this is what I found so I'm very surprised to see this so I know they had a queen because I found her. Yeah, no kidding. There's a bunch of dead bees in the bottom of the box here. But that's very uh that's very odd. There's still a few like barely holding on. I'm curious to see where the queen's at, whether she's on a frame or Yeah, look at that. All right, well, that is, that is strange to me, that's for sure. I thought they would pull through, but yeah, no kidding. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and if I can find the queen or what's left of her, I'll show that to you. But yeah, no kidding, looks like they, looks like they died off sometime in the last week or so. All right. That's disappointing, but I got a few swarms and some traps, so I definitely need the equipment. Yeah, it looks like they may have starved. Obviously, they don't have a lot of food. They had some sugar, but it may have been too far away. They had a healthy amount of bees at one point. This is not what the bottom board originally looked like. I knocked a bunch of bees into the box off the frame, so yeah, I guess it's uh, just a dead All right, moving, moving right along to the hive in the fourth position. So I reversed these, same exact thing, not to bore y'all to death, like I've probably said before. But yeah, just gonna go through this box. Hopefully I can find the queen and do the same thing. Cager, isolator, tear down any queen cells or queen cups. Just doing some spring cleaning. And then reverse the boxes, queen excluder, and call it a day. All right, let's do a quick first look. I went and topped off the smoker just because I definitely don't want to run out of smoke today. So this is nice. We'll get to this here in a second, but it looks like a lot of new wax right there. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, maybe six frames of bees. 
So again, same thing. Show you anything worthwhile. All right, I'm on the very third frame. Some brood, it's got a lot of weight to it with nectar, some capped honey. And not surprised at all to see a very developed queen cell that will probably hatch in the next few days. So again, just keeping an eye out to find the queen. And I also have to remind myself, she may or may not be marked since I know for a fact I caught at least one, one swarm that has a marked queen. So that's just something that, uh, here's another one. It's a nice looking one too. And another. It's amazing how they just kind of pop out sometimes. So yeah, I just gotta remind myself that they may have swarmed and they may have a queen that is not marked. Yeah. And another one right there. It's like three or four mature queen cells on that one frame. All right, just finished going through the top box, which is the deep. A lot of nice brood, a uh, ton of queen cells. So, heavy box too. Um, couldn't find the queen. They do have signs they were queen right. So just give you all a first look at the bottom box, which has maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half frames of bees. So I'm gonna give it an effort to find her. And I'm thinking I may not, I may not tear down those queen cells considering how mature they are. And I may make a split, move the parent queen in a few frames into some equipment down the yard here, which I have the space for, and then put everything back together and let those queen cells emerge. And whoever makes it, makes it. Frame number eight, beautiful, beautiful full frame of nectar. I have yet to find the queen, so I'll probably end up going through the top box again. Sometimes that just seems to work. I mean, it can't hurt. And then worst case scenario, I just let them be. And whichever queen hatches, maybe she'll mate, come back and continue, continue uh, building the hive up, the colony up for spring. And the other thought that I had as well is there's a good chance this could have been one of the two swarms that are in boxes. This could have been the swarm from a few days ago, or the this hive could have swarmed a few days ago, and they are currently in the purple trap. I caught them hanging from a tree, pine tree branch. Or it could be the, the colony that swarmed and moved into the blue trap that's still up in the tree. I haven't taken them down yet. Or it could be the hive that's in the yellow trap right behind me that I'm slowly moving into the bee yard. And in fact, yeah, that's right. That one definitely has a marked queen, so it could have been this one. But I'm just gonna go through them one more time and maybe I'll get lucky and find her. What I am referring to is hive number four since we lost number three, but for argument's sake, it looks like they may have swarmed sometime recently. There's some there's some very young pupa, or actually larva. Uh, no real signs of eggs, and considering how mature the queen cells are, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they swarmed recently, and it's one of the swarms that I probably caught, or may have caught. I'm gonna mark them with a brick uh, facing forward and not in line with the rest of the colony. And I will check on them in a few days maybe or just leave them alone for a week or two and then check back and as long as I can find some eggs if I if I happen to not find a queen uh, they should be okay all right down here at hive number five after taking a short lunch break so uh, I reverse this box as well show you that real quick and get into them for a first look but yeah I reversed them so same exact thing as the previous ones 
and we'll see how this goes. All right, let's do a quick first look. That's pretty interesting. They actually have a... What in the world is going on there? A wax moth larva or a small, small hive beetle. Come to find out, they, uh, they look very similar. So, give you all a first look in inside the top box. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe five to six frames of bees. This whole side has absolutely nothing going on. So yeah, same thing as the previous hives. And hopefully I can find the queen, isolator, reverse the boxes, add a queen excluder and call it a day. Check out the amount of honey they are packing away. Very first frame inside of the out, outer frame, which seems to be a little bit of a trend but yeah I could not help but messing that up a little bit just trying to get it out of the box and that is impressive all right yeah no kidding so the very next frame again this is the inside it looks like they have one two three four five queen cells on this frame and this one right here, that is focusing or not, but this one right here seems to have hatched. So I just need to remind myself, kind of like the previous hive, the previous colony, to keep an eye out for an unmarked queen, or they are one of the swarms that I caught recently. So we'll see, got quite a ways to go before I can make any determination. All right, some excellent food stores in the top box. Uh, a few, a few very mature queen cells, but no signs of the queen. And that is a heavy, heavy box. So let's take a quick first look at the bottom box. Got some cleanup to do. Pretty decent amount of bees, but then again, I did shake a few frames from the top box, which is probably what we're looking at there. So yeah, same thing, just frame to frame. If I can find signs, they're queen right. Uh, it's kind of a hard decision right now because she may have swarmed. Again, I have a few swarms in boxes, but if I can find her, again, cager, isolator, reverse the boxes, and go back through the top box and tear down any queen cells that need to be removed. All right, so I did not find the queen in what is now the bottom box, but I got those reversed, dumped off the bottom board just to clean it up. Same thing with the, the runway there, or the ramp or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna go through this box just one more time, but this, I don't know, to me this is just very impressive and worth sharing. I mean, check out how many bees are in this box and in this colony and it is just very cool to see especially on the verge of april it's where the nectar flow is about to kick in in full gear so hopefully i can get a nice harvest out of a few of these colonies all right that's it for number four could not find the queen reverse the boxes shook as many bees as possible from the top box into the bottom and then put a queen excluder between so i just need to keep my eye on them over the next week and see if they become queen right they had a few queen cells so not too uncommon this time of year just something to keep an eye on all right let's get into number six let's see how they're looking This is the colony that had a shim so I could provide them some candy during the winter. I took that shim off I think yesterday. This is just some cardboard. Let's take a first look. Uh, not as many bees as the other colonies but I have also learned first looks can be kind of deceiving so we'll see. Right side of the box definitely not a lot going on. More so on the, the left half but I did not reverse them, so we'll see what uh, we'll see how that looks here in a second. 
All right, I'm here on frame number six, and yeah, they look they look like they're queen right with a nice strong laying queen too. So it's just a matter of finding her. This whole area right here has very young eggs and larva. So considering it's pretty new and they haven't capped it yet, I would not be surprised to find the queen in the top box here. And that's just a really nice, that's a nice brood frame. So hopefully I can find her. And all the same rules apply. Cage her, isolate her, get her into the bottom box and add a queen excluder. All right, there she goes right there. I might give her a little bit of refresh on her red dot. Looks like it's wearing off a little bit, but yeah, no kidding. Doing a nice job. So just gonna do some cleanup, go through the rest of the boxes. If I find any swarm cells, tear them down or supersedural cells. Basically, queen cells are queen cups. Since they're queen right, they all got to go. All right, gave her a nice little fresh dot, fresh marking. I wanted to do that now just to give her plenty of time to dry off. So I still need to get into the bottom box and I'll do that while that's drying. It was nice to find the queen. Considering the previous two boxes, I was not able to find theirs, but yeah, a decent amount of bees in the bottom box. We'll see how the frames look. Get her released down in there, add a queen excluder, and that's it for this one. Well, this is worth showing. So this is the seventh frame, and the first frame that has looked very promising with brood. I was kind of wondering whether or not she was working the bottom box at all, but yeah, yeah, it looks like she has. So given the warm temperatures over the next week and probably moving forward, I'm going to I'm going to move a few frames around down here to help help and hopefully prompt the queen and the bees to start using them a little more. So the very first three, maybe four frames, just completely empty. So I'm going to swap a few of those frames throughout the colony. Put, it, put them closer to some of the brood frames and hopefully that prompts the bees and the queen to start using them and really boost the population. This is why it is worthwhile to take your bottom box off and do some spring cleaning. It looks like, I think it was the shim. The shim wasn't sitting very flush and it was letting some water get in and probably just ran all the way down the hive and has been resting on the bottom board for a while. So I think I might swap out this bottom board with another just to give this a chance to dry out. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna dump the bees and clean this off real quick. All right, just swap bottom boards. Let's, uh, let's get the queen released, put the bottom or uh, put the top box back on and that'll be it. There she at? Hopefully she got down in there. Oh, okay. Well, it's a little surprising with number seven. Let me figure out what to do with all this sugar and I'll be right back. All right, that was a bit of a mess. So unlike several of the other colonies, the top box really doesn't have a lot going on. So I'm real curious to see what, well, the top and the bottom box has in store for me. Um, I think this is that hive I wanted to keep an eye on that was kind of slowly just kind of limping along throughout the fall and winter. So here we are, it's about 80 degrees now. This side of the yard gets a lot of the direct sunlight in the afternoon hours. Right now it's not bad, but here in another month or two it gets pretty unbearable. But yeah, nonetheless, let's get into this one and see what we have to I'm very yeah. surprising to find the queen in the top box because I'm on the fourth frame and there's really nothing going on. 
so far, I mean, I do have, uh, maybe that was the fifth frame. I got five or six more frames to go, but surprising to see her up here. Let's get this top box off. There's some fur comb in between. Yeah, that top box has absolutely zero weight to it. Quick look at the bottom box. And yeah, I think this is the hive I was talking about. One, two, three, maybe four frames of bees. So I'll do some cleanup and see what see what we got going she is, on. Uh, she does have some brood down in the bottom box here. Pretty spotty pattern, something to really just keep an eye on. Yeah, same here, but all those open cells have eggs and larva. It just hasn't been capped yet. So nonetheless, I mean, she's, she's laying and doing a fairly decent job. So same thing, definitely gonna get her moved down into the bottom box and add a queen excluder. And who knows, maybe here in a few weeks, once they get a little more brood, population bump they'll start filling that top box real quick all right let's get her released down into the bottom box and there she goes all right the end is in sight so here I am on hive number eight this one looks a little more promising than the last few. Quick look in the top box, like usual. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five frames of bees. These outer frames look like they've seen better days. And I did reverse this one. So same thing as I've said several times now, let's get into them and Hopefully they're queen right and can reverse the boxes, isolator, and slide a queen excluder in. We are off to a good start. So very similar to several other colonies, the inside of the outer frame has a lot of nice nectar stores. So that seems to be a pretty good, pretty good sign. Take a look at the second frame together real quick. All right, beautiful larva that just hasn't been capped yet. Uh, same thing on this side, a lot of larva, some, some capped brood, not too much, but that will change very quickly. And how about one more frame together? Oh yeah, check that out. That is nice. Yeah, she's doing a good job. It's just a matter of finding her and doing all the things I said a few seconds ago. Just wanted to share frame number six with y'all. Check this out. Check out that side and that side. This is definitely a queen I don't want to lose, so hopefully I can find her. All right, just finished with the top box. Moved a few frames around to prompt the colony to start using them a little more. But yeah, let's get the top box off. Uh, did not find the queen, but I am very confident they are queen right. That box has some weight to it. And check this out. This colony is definitely, at least appears to be very strong. So still need to go through the bottom box. Like I previously showed y'all, not uncommon to tear apart some some brood, but uh, yeah, no kidding. No signs of varroa mite. So I'd like to think treating with the oxalic acid and the Instavap has really helped turn things around for me and the bees with keeping them healthy this past season. All right, there she is, frame number eight. Moving pretty slow, which is fine. She's gonna get her caged. And then looks like she could use a little refresh on her dot, which is red. All right, yeah, there we go. Got her. 
All right, that gives me a chance to finish up here, clean off the bottom board, reverse the boxes. I don't remember seeing any queen cells or queen cups, so one less thing to do in that sense. But yeah, they're looking okay. They definitely could be reversed and start using this as a honey super. All right, number eight got a nice little refresh. A fresh red dot let her dry off get everything put back together and release her all right let's get her back in the box and try and finish up for the day let's see oh, what she's trying to do Get down. She get out of there? Yeah. Okay. They are fast sometimes. All right, down here at number nine, and as I open them up, let me share my thoughts. I am pretty sure this is one of the swarms I caught because it wasn't that long ago, if you check our Instagram, it wasn't that long ago that I came out here and there was a mess of bees flying. And then come to find out, I'm pretty sure it was a swarm and it looked like most of the activity was coming from this colony. So with all that said, I will not be surprised to find an unmarked queen but you know whoa all right look at that holy smokes this colony is going to be probably one of my top producers absolutely remarkable so this is the outside of frame number two look at the inside i mean they if they swarmed Man, I'm glad I captured them, and I am glad they have continued to just put in the work. This is crazy. These are some heavy frames, too. And that's only the second one. All right, there's frame four. One, two, three, four mature queen cells, and one that they are working on. So, I'm very curious to see what I find. I'm pretty confident they swarmed about a week ago. And if I found an unmarked queen, maybe I'll use that frame and some others to make a split. That's very interesting. You can almost see the queen. Yeah, you can see the queen right there. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but how about that? All right, just finishing up on the top box. Did not find the queen. The outer frames are remarkably heavy. I'd say at least five pounds right now. A deep frame that's full of honey weighs about 10 pounds and those things aren't too far off. Uh, very curious about one of the frames on the frame holder here that has a queen cell that is as close to hatching as possible and I'm trying to think what I can do with this because I don't want to I don't want to damage it if that is their next queen so instead of setting the box completely down on the hive next to this one I'm gonna have to sit it up on its side. But yeah, check that out again. It's amazing. Okay, well, let's get into the bottom box and see what that has in store for us. That is heavy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To be expected. Packed. Absolutely packed. If I can find a queen, that'd be fantastic, but I have a feeling I'm not, just because of what I said earlier. It's not every day you see two queen cells right on top of each other. 
That's pretty cool. If you can see her or not, I think that's a virgin queen right there. So I'm just gonna put everything back how it is and just let nature take its course. I do wanna look at maybe a frame, the last few frames, but yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that's a virgin queen. So perhaps all these other queen cells that are in this colony, perhaps she's gone through and stung them and the bees just haven't, haven't chewed them out yet. But yeah, no kidding. I've seen a virgin queen before and she was moving and acting like one. And the fact that I haven't seen any eggs kind of makes sense. So yeah, I'm just going to keep an eye on number nine and give it, give it about a week or two. Ah, that frame's falling apart. Maybe about mid-April, come back and take a look at them and they should be a lot more calm and they should have signs they're queen right in the form of eggs by then. Just a different angle and look at a post inspection or soon to be post inspection. This hive is booming with bees if you can't tell. Huge population. And that is incredible to me because I'm pretty confident they swarmed recently too. So if you can only imagine how many bees they had before they swarmed. This is it. Finally, finally made it to number 10. Oh, good Lord. So reverse them as well. Screened inner cover. Had some sugar on them throughout the winter. Man, that last one, that wore me out. These two boxes are incredibly heavy. All right, yeah, same thing. Quick first look. Maybe not as many bees as the last colony, which at this point I'm really not complaining about, but yeah, let's get through them. Same spiel. Let's see what we got. All right, I kid you not, the inside of the first frame, same as several colonies today, packed just packed with nectar pretty incredible all small hive, small hive beetle you got to go it's finished in the top box a few interesting things to share with y'all so quite a few frames of nice brood huge patch of drone brood one two i mean that looks like a hatched queen cell one two three four queen cells on that frame and I think it was the very next frame, if not one more. Yeah, I mean, pack, pack brood. It may have been this next frame that had a ton, ton of queen cells on the bottom, yeah. One, two, three, four, so. Still have to get into the bottom box. They may have swarmed. They may be about ready to swarm if I can't find the queen. Well, if I can't find her, I'm just gonna let them do their thing and hopefully I can capture them if they haven't swarmed yet. But then again, they might be one of the three swarms I have in boxes that I haven't had a chance to check yet. All right, uh, let's see if I, can, if I can get them apart, give y'all a first look here. And I'll tell you what, I have not had boxes that heavy in a long time. So first look at the bottom box, I don't know what's going on there, but decent amount of bees. Let's get through them and again, I'll share anything worth showing you. All right, everybody, that does it for me. So believe it or not, it is quarter after four. I started at 1130. I took a break around maybe 130 for 30 minutes. So I've been out here for quite a while. So with all that said, I don't really know if it was that worthwhile going. 49 days I think so about six weeks in between inspections because that felt like about six weeks worth of work let's do a quick recap number one looking great ton of bees found the queen got her down into the bottom box the the middle medium was on the bottom reverse those ton of brood that'll hatch out they'll back, back fill that with honey and that's a very new box up top. So plenty of space to work 
Number two, looking good, queen right, queen excluder, same thing, that top box. Once the brood hatches out, they'll backfill that with honey. Three is no longer with us. Very surprised at that. So the hives with bricks on the top facing, facing me, those are the ones that I believe are queenless currently, but each one of them had a ton of queen cells. So I'm just gonna check on them around mid-April and they should have signs of being queen right, eggs, nice brood or semi-capped brood by then. So where are we at? That was three, so four and five. Yeah, check on them about mid-month. Six looking good, found the queen. Seven looking good, eight looking good. Number nine, I'm pretty confident I found a virgin queen. So no signs that she has made it yet. So she, she visibly looks small, her abdomen, and then no real signs of having eggs or anything. So pretty sure that's a virgin queen. And again, if you haven't seen our Instagram or March's video, when I came out here, there was a ton of activity. So I'm pretty sure I walked into the yard shortly after nine was swarming. And then number 10, uh, reverse all these boxes. But yeah, number 10, about the same thing. Ton of queen cells, no signs that they have a queen. So just something to keep an eye on. So that's my plan moving forward. So out of the 10 hives, one, two, Three for sure don't have queens. Number nine again, pretty sure that was a virgin queen. So about a 60-40 split right now, not terrible. I was surprised at the outer frames of a few of these colonies, maybe nine and 10. I mean, just packed with honey. So that is a good sign that their foraging force right now is finding a ton of nectar, bringing it in and the bees are curing it to honey. So I'm just gonna clean up real quick and then I'll give you a quick update of the three swarm traps over in the yard there. And my plan for them is to possibly get into them tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna inch the yellow trap towards the yard another five feet. And then tomorrow I'm gonna put it onto the hive stand probably right about here. The purple trap, swarm number three over there, same thing, I'm gonna try and inch it as much as I can, maybe three to five feet at a time, but that brush is pretty thick, so play that by ear. And then the blue trap, which is the first swarm we caught, that's still up in the tree there. I'm gonna make it a point tomorrow to bring them down and start uh, moving them about three to five feet at a time. All right, let's, uh, let's try to make our way back here to swarm number three, the one that's in the purple nuke. So, uh, okay, yeah. Well, that looks pretty nice. I am pretty confident they have moved in and they are there to stay. So, as you can imagine, watching me get back here, I'm gonna try to move the ladder a few feet that way, but that might be a little more challenging than I think. But nonetheless, I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, we're about a day away with swarm number two from getting it onto the hive stand. So let's see, how far have I, have I moved it? Three, six, nine, maybe about 10 feet from where I'm standing to where it's currently at. Not much of an update with swarm number one in the blue trap. They've been steadily coming and going for about a week and a half now, if I'm right. So I would expect to have a lot of drawn comb underneath some of those frames. So hey, thanks for watching everybody. Cole's Farm here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Easter weekend, almost April 1st. Close enough for me to reverse boxes to get them right, sliding queen excluders where need be, and a few hives just to keep an eye on since I'm not 100% sure if they're queen right. And they also had signs uh, that they either recently swarmed or are about to swarm for one of those two things. I am extremely tired. Been out here for about five hours, but it felt good to get into the hives today, physically and mentally. So thanks for watching everybody. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If this video persuaded you to subscribe, please do so. And of course, check out uh, the link in the banner, which is our link tree takes you to all of our other social media platforms between Instagram and Facebook, 
And then come summertime, usually around late June or July, when we have some honey available, if you navigate over to our Square site, as long as you see honey available for purchase, that means that we have some. We recently sold out, so I toggled that option off. So if you're wondering if we have honey or not, we don't. And if you go to our Square site and you don't see honey available to purchase, that's the reason why. So let's just do a quick drive-by of the hive entrances one last time, or actually, actually I'm just gonna perch down right here and give you a nice panoramic. Thanks for watching everybody.